Good day. Today we will talk about least square method. And we will handle the logarithmic function. This is vector k. This square method is a method to find the best fitting of curve or line depend on the function we will use, okay? Today we will talk about this kind of function, which is, we call it logarithmic function. If your data is like this, meaning your best curve fitting is the logarithmic function. Let's see how we will do that one. Now, this is the function. Uh, you should have box green in matrix because I will talk about matrix here. This is the data is given to us, maybe from experiments. And then we will see uh, how we will solve this one. Let's see the data, how it looks like first. Okay, if I draw this data, uh, you can see it is a curve. Okay. Curve similar to the one I just showed it to you. You see, coming like this, this one. If you want to uh, ask Excel to do it for you, uh, point to any of these points, right click, and you go to add the trend line. Now, in the trend line, he suggests anyway by default linear, but no, it is, you can see the linear is not, uh, well, this data possible maybe. Okay, but it is, uh, we are using logarithmic, okay? And then we can display the equations. Now, uh, you can see excellent he solved it for you. But how he resolve it to you, we will talk about it. We will do it manually. We will get the same answer, okay? Uh, this one is something like, uh, it's like this, why? equals to five plus two and x. This is the data here. Now, let's see. Before we will start uh, talking about this logarithmic function or equation, let's uh, review our linear equation. And then after that, we will apply the same thing here. Now, let's go back to review our linear. I have a data. Okay, this is my data. And then I will draw this data. You can see this data is the linear. Let's look like this. Okay. And then if I want to right click, uh, add trend line and then linear and the equation and okay okay this one actually it is uh, fitting y okay i'll just put it first down that's why uh, uh, we can have this here okay you can see here we have y equals to zero this is a is zero plus 10 a of course we will not put zero okay now how he do it this um, next he follow this rules here okay uh, he needs n sum summation or total of x summation of y here, and he needs summation of x after you multiply it, okay? Now, let's see how we do it. Let's get the first one is the summation of x. I, I can use equals, sum, okay, and then the click there, sum, highlight this one, and enter, he gave me 200. I can copy and paste this one here. This way, now I have the summation of x, summation of y. Now, summation of x squared, some people, they make a mistake. They will 
uh, square the summation x, which is wrong. You need first to, to square x, and then you get the total of that one. Okay, let's do it. Equals, this is x, and you square it. Enter, and you can copy, paste. Okay, copy the total. Okay, the function, and now this one, and then for this one equals x times y. Enter. Okay, 100, uh, 10 times 100 is 1,000. You can, this one, and then also you can copy and paste this one. Now, let's solve this matrix. Now, what we have here, first we have n. How much we have? We have six points. Okay, how much uh, summation x? We have this one, 10, 10 equals 210 also. And this one is summation x squared, which is this one, equals to 9,100. Okay, let's give them some color. That's why, okay, this is, uh, let's see. Okay. Now, let's get this matrix here, which is summation y equals summation y, this one. And this one is for x times y, which is this one. And then also, we will give you. Now, I have these two matrix. This one, it will be similar to this. If this is A and this is B matrix equal to C, to solve that one, B is the unknown. It will be the inverse of A times C. To solve it manually, the inverse is really a headache, especially if the matrix is very big. Uh, but we can here use the Excel to solve it for us, okay? This is my A and this is my C, and now I will find the inverse. The inverse is equals to M inverse, okay? This is M inverse, and then I will select this one and enter. You can see here, he finds for me the inverse for the four points already the four uh, data if you i'm using here uh, office 365 if you are using the old one he will give you only the first one uh, at that time what you need you need to press uh, f f2 and oh, sorry first you need to highlight okay and then after that f2 and then after that you combine control shift enter he will give you the data Okay, this is the same with my application. This is, you can find this procedure if you have some problem, you go to the help of Excel and he will tell you. Now, now I have this one. This one is my uh, inverse and I want to multiply inverse by C equals, okay, multiply. Okay, this is the command for multiply. And then I need to multiply this one first. Do not make it opposite, it will not work, okay? Uh, you should uh, review your matrix if you, you have some, some question about that, okay? And then times this one, enter. Now the answer is here. You can see this one is zero. Two point times uh, 10 power negative, uh, 13 is, is actually zero. You can do it something like this. Okay. Uh, too small. It is, uh, uh, you can convert it to, to number. It is zero. Okay. Uh, similar to what we found it here. Okay. This method is, I'm talking here, is all about linear. Now, let's talk about to modify this matrix to make it fitting this one. 
If you look here, is y, I have y, I think the my y. A, A is still no problem. B, B is still okay, no problem. So, but here I have lin x, you can see, lin x. Okay, I have lin x, but here I have x. Okay. Let me see if I can here and then I can. Okay, this is my difference. Now, every hair, lin x, I will change it to lin x. Okay, and be careful here. We are squaring the lin x, not the x. Okay, we are squaring the lin x. Now, let's see how we will deal with this one. The first I need to, because I need lin x, I do, I'm not interested in this one. Okay, I'm not interested in x. I'm interested in lin x. Okay. The command is equals lin ln. Okay, and then x, this one, and then. Now I can uh, copy this. I have now lin x. Okay, lin x. I need lin x square, meaning I will square this lin x. Okay. Equals to this one and square x itself. Okay, and then this one I may have. Also, I need to have the y times then x. I put y in the front, that's why this is the y outside of the lin, huh? Okay, equals to this one times this one. And okay, now I have complete. I completed my all requirement for my matrix. When it starts here, we will see. How many points? I have also six points here. Okay. Uh, lin x. Okay, I need to find first the total. I don't need this one. I need it from here. Equals to sum. Sum is the command for total. Okay, and first. And then I have this one. I need to have some mesh of lin x, which is equals to this one, and it will repeat it here also, equals to this one, and then this one is the square, which is this one. Okay, let's give him some color, okay. Now, let's see, that this is my A. Okay, my C is summation Y, which is equals to summation this one. Enter. And the other one, Y times then X, which is equals to this one. Enter. Okay, and then also uh, Okay, now to find my inverse which is equal to m inverse this is the command of this one enter if i find me my inverse okay now before we continue this is my a okay this is my b uh, sorry this is my c okay this is my inverse a. Now, if I multiply inverse A, if I multiply it by C, I will get B. Now, to multiply that one is equals multiply matrix, and then I need this one, comma. Multiply it by this one. Enter. This is my answer. Now, let's uh, uh, do something. Let's pick this, these numbers. Maybe we'll make it smaller. Okay. You can see the answer is 5 and 2, which is similar to this one here. Okay. Now, 
let's test this one also. This is my A. I'll do some. This one is A. And this one is B. Okay. Now, I will calculate from this equation my uh, number. Because, for example, if I want 15, what I will go? I will go 15 here to give me something like 12, 11 point something. Now, let's see how to calculate that one. It is equals A, this A. Okay, I, I don't want it to be continued because I'm copy paste. I want to fix that one. I press F4 to keep this one plus plus B. This is B, also F4 to fix it. This is the purpose to fix that one times, I don't want it to be changed when I copy paste, times F, ln F. Okay, I have two ways. I will get this ln x directly, or I can type here ln and then I will get this x. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, but most of the time it is come from, you write it like this, uh, ln, okay. Uh, most of the time you write it like this, ln x. Okay, uh, not the one calculated. Now it is, it will give me 9.60, similar to this one. I can copy paste. Okay, you can see, you can compare with this calculated y and actual y from the experiment. Uh, the last thing before we finish uh, this seminar, uh, I want to it draw this to this, okay, uh, this one, because we have here then x, then x, I to draw it against uh, this one. I don't see one opposite, I don't want to accept it in this Excel, but we will try, okay, insert database, Okay, but he put it opposite. Okay, uh, possible we can change it maybe. Where it is here to uh, you can change the data here. Okay, uh, you can change the data here by right click here and then data. Okay. You, can, you can switch it. Never mind. Okay. Never mind this one. Okay. Uh, up to here. Okay. No need for this one. Okay. Okay. Uh, now I'll repeat. Uh, first, I I found the equation for linear. And then I apply the same method for nonlinear function, which is logarithm squares. And then I found the uh, the constant a and d. Okay. Of course, you can do it this one. You can do that one by using Excel directly. But if you want to write a program, something at least you should know what is the the procedure. Okay. Up to here, and thank you for watching.